Today, Ja people, as always, you know, give thanks and praise to the Most High, forever loving Ja. Yes. So now, we're in the greenhouse, and today we'll vibe up. You know what I mean? Crazy vibe today, Ja people, because I saw supposed to be, you know, from from the physical world to the spiritual world. Right now, I'm drinking coffee, Ja people. I'm drinking Arabica. It's not from my tree though. You check this tree in the greenhouse. That's our coffee too. That's a coffee tree, aerobica. Yeah man. So today I will name most of them trees in the greenhouse. Because most of them trees in the greenhouse, the people, they like over two, three years now, right? And they're ready to produce and everything. So some of them I want to introduce Ja people too. So, check this coffee. That's the coffee tree right there, Ja people. Let me pull it out. Check it out, Ja people. That's a coffee tree right there. Like four foot. And I have this from Little Small. Check it out. You know, one time I give up. I give up your people about this stuff to plant it but you know my friend that passed away rest in peace Toma long time ago my best friend you know he's my best friend he passed away long time ago so I see him you know in the spiritual world sometimes I see him in my dream I be like alright then cool if he can visit me I can go and visit him too but don't forget Ja people, we're talking about different things in this greenhouse. So this is the bottom of the greenhouse, right? The ground. If you look at the ground, Ja people. Alright. Check this out. This right here. That's the coffee. Remember. This is where you make coffee with. The beans of this, right? This is the tree. Right next to it. Not far. Look, look at my hand. Check this out. Right next to it. Not far away. Bam. Is an avocado tree. Right next to it. Is this big papaya tree. Watch it from above. Higher ground. Check it out. But there's a trick to it, ya people, right? Because... All I want to see right there is mulch. Inside this greenhouse, it's like a tornado. The way I build it, you know, the way I dig it, the way I dig it, and the way I put the soil together, way down, all the way down, six feet. And I make sure one side got all kind of nutrients, and I throw it back in the hole, and I dig the other side. My neighbor funny to even my neighbor like, he can barely see me, you know. He like, hey, what you doing? They're planting a dead man. <laughs> I love my neighbors, them man. Yeah, so with all them right here, right next to each other, ja people. The avocado. Check that out. The coffee. Once again, I repeat myself, right? So now this this one right here check how big that stem is right check that out that's a that's a papaya right this papaya ja people is on a higher ground from the avocado and the coffee right there it just look like they're on the same ground but they're not remember ja people i tell you i dig i dig around here is like a tornado if you actually look at this stuff all, I designed it to bury, you know what I mean? So each plant in here, no care many how many plants in here, don't care how many job people, each plant in here, they're on different ground. But because of the mulch, they look like they're on the same ground. All right. Let's go and see more exotic plants, right? And I'm gonna stick here. This right here, 
This right here, not too far, is the ice cream beans. And it's like five feet, but well, I have one right next, not too far away, ready to pop out the ground. Check the bottom of this, your people. That's what I want you all to see. This is just like a foot, just a foot from it. Check it out, just like a foot. As long as you give them good nutrients and everything, huh? All right. Come this way. I'll give it. I'll give it a real, the real deal. Them. This right here, your people, is an Indian gooseberry. Not too far away from different fruit trees too. I'll let you all see from the top. Check it out. That right there. Let me get it here. That right there is an Indian gooseberry. Ready to bust out from the top. Most of them trees too, man. Ready to bust out from the top. But this wind, this spring's coming. I will let them bust out, you know, because it's fruit time. I want to see some fruit and everything. Yes. Yeah, so my friend come to me, you know, rest in peace. And it looked like he was like my neighbor, you know. Plant, planting the same thing. I remember job people for a time would like to run competition with each other. But in a good way, you know, not in no bad way. And um, I say if he can do it, because he was doing it. And that give me courage. But every time I wake up, I'm be like, oh man, I'm in the spiritual world. I wonder if I can do it. Of course I can do it, ya people. And soon all these plants will be out from here. No more shed. No. Check the papaya. What I like to do, ya people, like extra seeds and stuff, tomatoes and all them stuff. I throw it inside here. And what happened is, like if you see like right here, these young plants will grow, will grow a little bit big. Then the bugs will come and eat it. That's what I want. Cause they need to keep on build up soil and you know what I mean? Make the poop and everything. So I always throw extra seed in here just to throw it in here. And they will catch up like this. They will grow like this, you see? Soon these one, there will be nutrients for the ground and the bugs. They won't grow big, just nice size. I love to do that, you know. Yeah. So I said one day, let me go back and visit my friend. So I manifest myself. And I went and visit my friend, your people, in the spiritual world. And it's so funny, he knew I was coming, so he got a bike for me and we keep on ride. We keep on ride the bike. <laughs> And it was like all back in the days of Jerusalem, people still continuing their business. Like they're just waiting till that time come for judgment day. That's the way I see it, huh? I started to ask him question, you know. It was a trip. Hey, ja people, check this. This is a crabu. This crabu tree here, ja people. Look how beautiful this crabu tree here. Look how beautiful this crabu tree. Look at them. They call it Nancy. Out here, they call it Nancy. That's like my grandmother's name, you know. So this tree here dedicated to my grandmother. But not this one like close here. This one here is a very vine. You know what I mean? This is a very vine. And this still, this is winter time, ja people. And this very vine looking beautiful. But this is from a seed. Let me turn around this camera. From that one right there. That's the mother. That's the mother of this very vine. Let me show you. This right here, this is the mother. This went to sleep already, you see? So he dropped the seed this year, early spring. So now I have one, which I always wanted. It survived the winter comfortably now. Now it started to adapt. Right now it's around four feet, no, three feet. This right here. Yeah, very vine. Start to adapt. 
But we talk about this crab right here. Beautiful. I put it in the house. I bring it out from out the house to Winter Street. This is the third winter now, your people. It's in the ground. I put it, I put it what? Springtime. So now I say I will leave it. I won't dig it up back again. It's looking good, looking beautiful. Crabu. I grew up with them. Now you're talking about real, real tropical job people. These are real, real tropical. This ain't no play game. You're looking at Vervine and Crabu. They call it Nancy out here. Real, real tropical, you talk about. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yes, so job people. Let me tell you. So what happened is now you keep on ride the bike and, and they ask him question. Them so rest in peace, Toma. I start to ask him question. And um I said, man, why all the time you give me number or whatever to give to your people them and they win the number? Why you not let me win the lottery? So he said, you know, the people, I'm on a different mission. And um, he said, but I'll take you to a place. And he take me, keep on ride the bike, and we reach two temples. One on the left, and one on the right. And he said, that's the holy temple right there. And um, he showed me the one on the right. He said, that's the temple of Lucifer. It's your choice. Why it was very tense, your people, in the spiritual world, your people. You think on earth you could ever feel a heartbeat? In the spiritual world, you can actually feel a heartbeat. It's a real truth life. So whatever we do on earth, your people, live it to the fullest. Whoever you are, whatever you are, what you want to be, and you think that's the way it's supposed to be, I'm telling you, your people, live it to the fullest. <laughs> And once you live it and you love it, <laughs> you're good. Because you don't know what to expect on the other side. It is real. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I ask him a question, ja people. I look at the temple. Scary. And I ask him the question. My brother. Choo choo ja people, no lie. I say, man, if, I, if I'm ever lying, hell is real and let me burn in hell for the rest of my life. And I ask him this question, ja people. I say, man, how you feel since you're here? He look at me and he tell me, that look, that tense look, It's all right. Like, oh man, like the way you look at me, I have like one more thing else to finish before I went in the spiritual world. Yeah, man. The people in the spiritual world ain't no plot none to play with. It is real. And let's pray for the dead, you know, until we pray. Because they are just waiting, you know, time. But it is real, the people. Trust me. Well, I don't want to bore anybody with the spiritual world. I just thank Jah, thank the Most High that I say my part, the things I see. Yeah, man. I already get that off my chest, Jah, people. But if I can't, you know, we're talking about the trees, them, real tropical. You see this ice cream beans right here? That's an ice cream beans. That ready for boss out too. Out. So I won't cut them no more. Cause I won't cut them, you know? I won't cut them no more. Time to bust them out, springtime. Watch this one. All right. Right there. Um, let me see. I'll well, come back to this one here. All right. Come back down. Because I really want to base on the bottom part too, you know. Because we're talking about this soil. We keep on make the soil get richer and richer, you know. All right. 
Check out back the job people. I have a little banana. The banana is way, way back to the back there, you know what I mean? Let me try. See if I could see closer. Check the banana right there. That's a dwarf banana for a couple of years. It's in the ground, so you have one little pop. If you watch the bottom there, you have one little pop. Yeah. But bottom over there, that, that area don't get no water. Because the banana don't want water. I never give it water winter time too. So I leave it right there. Alright, let's continue this one, your people. Then I tell you I got this sapadilla. So this is what we was looking at, you know, sapadilla. So if you come this way, check the sapadilla right there. All right. If you come this way, let me get this stick here, your people. Right? This right here, that right there, that tree right here is a achacha. They call it achacha. It's really, really tropical to Jap people. The one in the back there is a mango tree too. You know what I mean? They're really, really, really tropical. And if the talk about real, it never stops, man. It gets deeper. Let me tell you, this right here with the big leaf, this right here with the big leaf, Jap people. You check it out? This. This one, Belize, I grew up with this sea grape. This is like going to like four, four and a half feet, sea grape. Check it out. I'll put it closer. Check it out. Sea grape in the desert of Las Vegas. Check that out. Yeah, man. Why? I thank Ja. I explain things to his people. Them. So when the time comes. I already know, you know. We already got a war. Name written already, Ja people. The name already written on the rock. It depends if you want to lay on it the right way. Let me tell you something. This is a mountain apple, Ja people. Check this out. It's a mountain apple. I try to spread it out that way over the pan. Check it out. Everything I design my way. I keep on cut them, you know, I keep on cut them. But this mountain apple here, your people, wanna bust out. Come out the roof too. Yeah man, I gotta leave it, man. I gotta leave it. But I always ask myself, right, your people. I always say, man, if I, as Jaman, spiritually, physically, want to dwell, which is that my goal, that, that is my goal, you know, that I want to dwell in my father's house forever. Imagine now I pass over to the spiritual world. You know what I mean, Ja people? And when I reach that gate, you know, and the Father, Jesus Christ Himself, He will ask me the question Why should I let you in my Father's gate to go and dwell in my Father's house? When the things that He made on earth, you don't like the color of it? Why should you enter my father's gate when you don't even like the animal them, you criticize them? Oh shit. Ja people know it's getting down, you know, Kong Dong now. Kong Dong. Ja people, if we know these things, if I know these things. <laughs> Why should I live the life of man law? I have to live the life of spirituality, the life of Jah. Because once again, I want to dwell in my father's house for the rest of my life. So I got to respect every soul. 
I was just passing through it, just a test. So that's what I do, Ja people. You know what we're looking at here, Ja people? Canestel. Canestel tree. This, 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 this one of them tree, Ja people, the fruit is like yellow. Look like an egg-shaped thing or something like that. Yeah, we grew up in this in Belize too. Yeah, man, check it out. Beautiful canestel. In Las Vegas, huh? I don't know, it's like four and a half feet too. Remember, Ja people, now this plant, they over like two, three, four years and now. Indian gooseberry, right next to it. They're not far away. Watch it. Not far away. Indian gooseberry. If I never bend this tree, it would be through the roof too. Uh huh. Check it out. Right next to it. That's the carry right there. Check it out. Uh huh. Yes, now we're talking tropical. And when you live close to the mountains, you get all the coal. Let me see if I see any fruits back there with them papaya, the Mexican papaya. Let me see. I respect my larger people, but I don't, I don't really go by it. But I respect it. I'd rather live the life of the Mosai than I live the life of flesh. Ah, that's a Mexican papaya right there, Ja people. In winter time, this is the only thing going off. Check it out. Beauty of Ja Earth. I will always keep on loving Ja, ja people. You remember now, this is just a spiritual vibe, you know, just to vibe up, you know. The new year coming. We have to respect each other, love each other because like I said, we're not here forever, we're moving on. So your people, this is just a vibe up mood, you know. Love you all, forever loving Ja. Like I said, we, we want to reach a place where we dwell in his house forever. And if we want to do that, we can watch everything that he create and criticize it and expect that we're supposed to go and dwell with him. In the case you're Christian or where religion you're from, it no matter. Plant your food, your people, and let's live happy. Bless up.